comes in right there. I ran it uh, all the way from the power pole, which is right there. It's about 200 feet away. So it comes in on this corner. I'm about to go inside. So when you go in the door, I got the switches right here to the left. This is the outdoor switches. That's the Apple Home Kit switch. So it's all automated. And then this is the inside switch, just a normal switch. But the sub panel comes in on this corner over here. So it's kind of hard to see. It's just coming through the wall down there. Uh, comes in. So I've got uh, here's the light. I got inside, inside and outside lights in the same breaker. And what I did here is uh, this is the right side outlets and the left side outlets. So what I did, I separated the outlets. It's a 30 by 50 building. So one half of the building, all the outlets are on one 20 amp circuit. And then the other half of the building is on the other 20 amp circuit. That way I could have, so if I had something plugged into those two, you know, I could have two high amp, devices plugged in at the same time and it shouldn't you know trip any breakers so what i did for the lights it's all half inch emt so i ran up runs along that little rafter to that junction box right there and then it then from there it just it goes over to that to the switch but i got the, the two switch wires come back through here and then uh the inside lights go over here to that receptacle and then that splits off to that receptacle and then also to this receptacle for these lights. Uh, these are the, just, I got six 100 uh, watt LED lights off of Amazon. I forgot what kind they are. They're called like UFO light or something like that. But they just plug in, because they already have a plug on them, I just put receptacles up there. So then, but also from this junction box, the outdoor lights go right there to that first junction box and I've got I got three out, outdoor lights on this front wall so there's one uh, where is it there's one right there in the middle and then I've got one over there and then one on the opposite corner over there and also on this front side I just came out of that other junction box ran it up to there so there's a light right there on the outside and then on these outlets, starting on this one, so I skip that one, there's one on here, skip that one, there's one on here, skip that one, skip that one, there's one on here, skipped, one, you know, every other one, except for the corners, I didn't do the two corners. So why I did it that way, uh, yeah, so so here's, here's the um, outlet, so what it is, is I just mount it to these posts, and then instead of having to mount it to the wall, I just bend it back into that little ridge. And then on the next one, I, I, I don't put one, every other one is skipped. So the one I skip, I, I put it behind there and that half inch EMT tucks in there perfectly behind there in between the, the wall panel and the post. So every other one is like that. And then the next one is like that. And then I skip it. So the, so the corners, um, I go behind these posts and then just, I just 45 right there, go behind this other post, and then I start again. So I've got one, two, three, four on the long wall. And then I've got, so you uh, skip that one. So one, two on that wall. I don't have any on this little wall here. What I'm, what I'm planning on doing is it, I'm gonna come out of the, junk, the sub panel, obviously. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna have two circuits. I wanna have an outlet right there, an outlet right there for the, uh, I wanna get automatic or the roll up door, automated roll up doors, whatever they're called. Um, but I'll, I'll probably piggyback off of one of those uh, junction boxes and come down here and add a couple outlets right here. That way I can open these two doors and just plug something right there instead of having to come over here and plug it in or come over there and plug it in. I can just plug it in right there. Um, but that's pretty much it. I eventually want to get a, uh, I hadn't decided if I want a two or a four post lift right here. I'm probably going to go with a two post and then I'll just, I'll just run the electrical. I'll probably run it and then straight down to wherever the electrical connection is on it. Um, and I eventually want to get a welder and I'm just going to, 
I have it probably over here somewhere. But that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that's it.